Hey guys, it's Lenny and welcome back to the channel. So I'm going to show you guys how you can mod your motorbikes. Okay, so requirements, you need to have an arena, um, you need the first level. You need to have an RC, um, modded RC is ideal, so you can transfer the paint and the wheels and the colour of the wheels across. Some motorbikes will only take a couple of Benny's wheels, um, most of them will just take the colour off the wheels. So if you don't have a modded RC, there will be a video linked in the description that you guys can check that out and actually get one. Um, if you have a modded vehicle that is. So to start off with have your bikes inside of your arena. I don't think spawn location matters but I always spawn on my bunker for these glitches just to be safe. And just um, what you want to do is bring into the motorcycle that you want to put the mods onto. Okay so this Chimera here I'm going to put the mods onto it and my RC is a modded RC so it's got um, Benny's wheels, coloured like modded paint, modded wheel colours, um, yeah so I'm going to transfer all that across to my motorcycle. Start off with, at your RC press the right d-pad, bring up the menu to alter it and all you need to do is back out of it, you don't have to change anything on the RC. Sort of walk over to the area where I am, um, you need to have a mission on your phone at this point, so I do have but I'm just showing you that I call Gerald to get the mission and you can actually get a mission a Gerald mission or a Leicester mission. Um, normally you get a Gerald mission within five minutes of being in a session so that's what normally happens to me by the time I make my way to the um, arena from the bunker I always have this mission ready to go. Alright so now we're about to do this glitched out part so bring up your phone with the mission open at that point you want to hit triangle hold pause release pause and accept that mission. You hear the click of you accepting the mission as the pause menu comes up your character will still continue to walk to the bike. As soon as it gets over and stops, and just about the, as about your character is about to throw the leg over, you want to press the pause button to drop the pause menu, and you want to spam left D-pad. If you hit it, you'll return the bike back to storage, and the mods will transfer across. I mean, as you can tell there, I slowed the gameplay down because there's no way I was going to explain all that at real time. And as you notice, you got sucked into the job. So just back out of the job and then you want to go and change something about this vehicle to save it. Okay. So that's it in a nutshell. I will run through it one more time with you guys. Um, just as long as you, once you select the button to hop in on the motorcycle, you release the pause, you want to accept the job, you want to hear the click. And then as soon as your character, you think your character is about to throw its leg over, you want to hit pause again and then you want to be spamming left d-pad and then yeah you return it to storage you'll get sucked into the job and if, yeah just want to do what I'm doing now just change something about the bike so this is the next one okay this is just the Shataro that I do so I bring up my phone get the job ready to go holding pause hit triangle release pause accept the job hit pause now and then spam left d-pad returns the bike to storage get sucked into the job back out of the job and you want to take that back that bike back inside the workshop and just change something on it that's just to save it but um, yeah if you are too quick with pressing pause and spamming left d-pad it would it won't work if you're too late um, you'll just get kicked off the bike and go into the job so I sort of was not late I was always too early when I done this glitch but um, yeah, if you hit it correctly, you, you see exactly what happens. You get the bike, the bike just returns to storage, and yeah, you get sucked on the job back out. And yeah, save it. But that's it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one.